you watched my last video then you may have noticed I look exactly the same except I've got a different top on which is because I am filming one video after another after another that's it but yes today I'm going to be filming a what's in my school bag so let's just get on with it so this is the school bag I picked and it's just brown and it's big and it's really nice this was from new look and it was 22 pounds i think it was it has gold hardware um what, what, what i don't know what these are called it's got like a see-through scallopy detail on the sides it's really big inside and it's very deep um you can clasp it together with these two like that and there's like a thing that you put together there to keep the sides you know so this is great i really like it and it smells really nice the first thing i have in my school bag is my pencil case i forgot to show this in my back to school supplies haul i missed out quite a lot of things actually but i was so this is my pencil case it is actually a beauty case but i liked it as a pencil case so this is from wilco's and this was a three pounds and it's a makeup bag so whoops cheated so i've got pens pencils glue maths equipment um a sharpener my calculator compass um rubber all kinds of equipment that you're going to need for school if you haven't seen my back to school supplies haul i'll link it below or you can go find it yourself the next thing I have in my school bag is my makeup bag and this is so pretty this is from Primark and this was three pounds I'm gonna take these massive PS love things off because they look tacky on there but I was it is like split into two which I love and the first side has the more feminine um, hygienic stuff so I have um, my K-Rex hand sanitizer um, I have a mini de Nivea deodorant. Um, some people get really embarrassed washing these, but I don't really care. Just um, period pads because most girls, you know, have a time of the month outside. And then I have some just some normal wipes, and also I have a bubble because the punishment is in PE if you don't bring a bubble, you have to have an elastic band and. The elastic band is horrible. It's the worst punishment if you have like long hair. The other side has the more makeup y bits in here, and I have brought quite a few makeup bits. I've got two concealers one that's for spots and one for if any spillages happen. I got this one today, so I haven't tried it out, but I am guessing that it's going to be good because everyone loves it. It's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer and it just looks like this and it's in light. And the second concealer is the Collection Lost in Perfection Concealer in Too Cool Medium because everyone loves this and I used to hate it but I love it now. I have a powder and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 115 beige. It's quite light but it's really brightening. And it also has a mirror and a puffy thing, so that's really handy. And the last makeup -y items I have is a 17 Cheeks blusher brush and the 17 Insta Glow Shimmer Brick because just in case I've lost the colour in my face. Oh, bring this. If you know me, you might know that I've been on Makeup Report because. Um, until you're in year 11 you're not allowed to wear makeup and I'm a rebellious child and did and always got caught for it so it makes me very happy that I can wear it now and I'm just going to rub it in all the teachers faces who's put me on makeup probably like, yes I can wear it now bitch so move out the way because I'm just going to powder blush this shit up in oh I'm so happy I've been on a makeup report seven times like in the past year and a half like it's ridiculous so basically if you don't know what makeup report is in my school we have this stupid rule that if you get caught for makeup you get put on makeup report and basically you get a sheet that you have to get filled out by every teacher of every lesson for a week or two depending on who put you on and who's a bitch or not so i usually go on it for two weeks because everybody hates me and i'm well known for it um so yeah if you get across then you have to start the week all over again which has happened to me i've been on it for four weeks once because 
Oh, I, I wouldn't let them, you know, take my foundation off me because I have spots and they make me insecure and, you know, I've been put in isolation for not taking my makeup off because they wanted me to take my eyebrows off and those looks really like this, but this was in year nine so they might have been bad. And I said no because I was like, I, I literally said, I look like an albino, I have no eyebrows and she was not impressed and she was like, get to isolation please. I was just like, okay, so. The next thing I have in my bag is this black folder which I picked up for sheets and work and things and inside I have my um, pink diary thing. I'll get a planner as well but I'll just put that in the bag but this is just my you know personal planner thing so this is really good and if I'm in class and someone's like yo Megan make me some plans book me an appointment see you I just like yeah let, hold up a minute. I'm so popular. If you know me, then you know that I have to carry around a lot of sprays in my bag, so that is why I have quite a few. So I have the Mini Impulse Very Pink Body Spray, and this smells gorgeous. It always reminds me of Christmas because I always get like Mini Impulses or Impulses like in a set, and this is my favourite one. And this just always reminds me of Christmas, so it makes me very happy. And Christmas is soon-ish. I'm quite excited but it's my birthday soon bitches so buy me a present I'm not joking either the other spray I have is the impulse vanilla kisses and it is gorgeous if you if you love vanilla then you'll love this it smells so nice honestly like this was like 99p and they're usually quite expensive like one pound well it's not expensive but do you know what I mean for a body spray so I picked this up and this is very handy for if you smell like naked in. And I have a perfume, well it's a rollerball, and this is the River Island um, rollerball in, I don't really know which one it is, let me get it out. They have a new perfume out and I don't know what it's called, it's in a pink bottle and I tried to find the rollerball of that but I could not find it because they don't stock it yet which is a bit sad. But um, it looks like this and it smells so nice. Um, it's just a very mature scent um, It's just very mature and the River Island perfumes I would totally recommend because they stay on for so long and they're so like Strong and mature so I really would recommend them. I am keeping it in the box because I just you know It just looks nicer and I want to keep it like that the other thing that I have in my bag is my glasses and I don't really have a glasses case because I think they're just really bulky and I have a glasses cleaner in there somewhere but you know if you didn't know I wear glasses. Do they make me look really intelligent? Do I look like a sexy librarian? Yes. I've got a lot of hair in my mouth. That's really not sexy. The last thing that I'll put in my bag is my phone and headphones and these come together because they are made as one. If I don't put this in my bag, I'll put it in my blazer with me. It'll probably be in my blazer. This is the gold iPhone 5S and I got it the other day and oh, just look how beautiful it is. It looks kind of silver, but it's not. Like, it, oh, it's just so nice. It has a touch screen so I can just be like, what's up bitches? I always have to have my headphones. If you know if you know me again, then you know that I always have my headphones with me because they are life. And you know, if you're in an awkward situation or you have a really shitty bus like I do, or you know, there's just everyone at the bus stop in the line when all, then you just, you know, put one bud in, put one bud in, put the other bud in, then bye bye bitches, let's listen to Britney Spears and Nicki Minj and all that jazz on my dazzle. Wow, I'm kidding, this is not a what's in my bag, this is a um, back to school hairstyles tutorial so you just kind of wear here like that and go around and there you go, bravo. Anyway that was the end of my what's in my school bag video, I hope you enjoyed because I really like filming this video so I might do more what's in my bag videos you know every so often because this is fun to film. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had a really good day and have a really good day or night whenever you're watching this. Please like, comment and subscribe because I have reached 100, 100, yeah, 100 subscribers and it's not a lot to you. But you know, I'm getting somewhere and it makes me happy. So I hope you have a good day. Bye bye guys. Bye 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 bye.